What is going on guys, it is WrestleAmia here, back with some more news, join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumours you need to know, including Goldberg's retirement tour, bad news for Alexa Bliss, a positive health update on Biggie, WWE and Twitch form a new partnership, WWE looking to draft an NXT star and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleAmia Shorts. And now let's the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at Goldberg's retirement tour. That's big news for Bill Goldberg fans as the WWE Hall of Famer is suggesting he's about to embark on a retirement tour. As recently reported, Bill Goldberg was not too pleased with the WWE as Goldberg claims Vince McMahon gave him a handshake deal that he'd have a retirement match before ending his run in the WWE. That didn't happen, leading to talk of Goldberg might heading to AEW for one last run to close out his career. And now Bill Goldberg is hinting that he may embark on a retirement tour of his own making. Goldberg mentioned this during an appearance on the 93.7 The Ticket saying, so if I go on a world tour and promote it myself, that's a possibility. Hey, I'm a businessman, and I'm fortunately in the position, I firmly believe, to where I can still make it happen. At the end of the day, like I said, I do believe that my character deserves a proper send-off, and until that happens, I don't believe I'm hanging them up. So anything and everything is an option. I'm very much leaning toward promoting it myself and doing a four-city world tour, so let the rumor mill start up after that. While the WWE apparently failed to follow up with its promised retirement match, Ringside News reports that at one point there were talks about some sort of retirement angle for Goldberg. The last idea we heard about Goldberg was a Heyman pitch that Vince said he liked about a Goldberg retirement and it was never discussed once the scandal started getting deep. If Goldberg doesn't launch his own retirement tour, might he head to AEW? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, bad news for Alexa Bliss. Will the WWE Universe ever see Bliss back in the ring? Although Bliss was sidelined due to skin cancer surgery, she's reportedly been cleared to compete, yet hasn't shown up on WWE TV since she wrestled Bianca Belair at the Royal Rumble. Now Ringside News is reporting, We asked around about Alexa Bliss and we were told that, despite all the hope in the world from fans that she'll be back soon, there are no current plans. Prior to her disappearance, the WWE spent weeks building up segments that strongly suggested she was falling back under the control of Bray Wyatt. Whether it was videos from Wyatt, appearances from Uncle Howdy, or moments when Bliss appeared to blank out when the Firefly Funhouse symbol aired on TV, it seemed obvious where things were headed. However, if the WWE is intent on reuniting Bliss with Wyatt, there's the problem of when Wyatt himself will be back. Bray is reportedly dealing with an unknown medical issue and it's unclear when he'll be able to return. That could explain why Bliss is off TV, as the WWE may not want to bring her back until it can implement the Bray Wyatt storyline. It's also possible that Bliss will return when the WWE runs the 2023 draft. What do you think is next for Alexa Bliss? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, a positive update on Biggie. It's been over a year since Biggie suffered a devastating neck injury during a match on SmackDown, and fans are still eager to find out what the future holds for him, either in or out of the squared circle. Recently, the beloved New Day strongman updated his fans via the Battle and Ellie background show and said, yeah, it's just a complicated fracture. I broke my C1 and C2 in two places. A Jefferson fracture is what it's called. It just takes a little more time to heal. We just did the one-year scans after WrestleMania. It was a little later because of WrestleMania. We need to sit down with the doctors at some point and figure out what the next step is. But from my perspective, I feel great. I have no functional issues and no pain issues. I've been in the gym since two weeks after I broke my neck. I'm feeling great. I'm really grateful for all of that. Obviously, your neck has to be in a certain condition to deal with the rigors of being in the ring on a nightly basis. Doctors told Biggie that he was lucky to be alive after he suffered his neck injury. Whilst it sounds like he's doing fantastic, all things considered, it could be some time until fans discover whether Biggie can ever wrestle again. In the meantime, the former WWE champion is keeping busy and recently landed a new gig outside of wrestling. Kaltaholik reported, United States Football League team the Michigan Panthers announced yesterday that beginning April 30th, the former WWE champion will act as the MC for the 2023 season. I will continue following this story and like Biggie's many fans, we look forward to whatever the next chapter is in his amazing life. Next up, WWE and Twitch form a new partnership. 
The WWE and Twitch have reached a new deal that reportedly allows superstars to earn the lion's share of their revenue from streaming on the site. Fightful Select has reported, Fightful has learned that WWE and Twitch reached an agreement to allow WWE wrestlers back on Twitch with almost no restrictions. Those we spoke to said that the revenue will be a three-way split that Twitch and the talent take the vast majority of. This would seem to be good news for superstars who enjoy the extra income they could get from the third-party deals. You may recall the WWE Knicks third-party deals two years ago, angering many wrestlers. The Wrestling Observer Figure 4 Online's Ian Carey noted, WWE banned its performers from using third-party platforms such as Cameo and Twitch in the fall of 2020. This led to a public spat between the company and Zelina Vega, who was released by WWE that November. She'd eventually return in July of 2021. Last year, the WWE told its superstars that they could earn money from third-party platforms again. Third-party platforms can be extremely lucrative for wrestlers. These are not always though without risk, as Mandy Rose discovered in 2022. Rose became a millionaire thanks to her cameo videos. Unfortunately, the WWE released her with some believing it was due to the risque natures of the videos. What do you guys think of this announcement though? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, confusion over Seth Rollins having heat with WWE. There's still plenty of confusion regarding whether Seth Rollins has any heat with the WWE. By now, you've likely heard the story that Rollins became angry with the WWE after his segment for the 3rd April Raw was reportedly changed abruptly. While Rollins returned to the WWE the following week, there were concerns he might be miffed at management. And now Fightful Select is reporting that its WWE sources claim there is no issues between the visionary and the WWE or any talk of Rollins being upset. It's possible Rollins was briefly bothered by what happened on the 3rd April Raw, a chaotic show that reportedly featured many rewrites and changes in the matches. One thing is clear, Rollins had a fantastic match against The Miz on the 17th April Raw, with both superstars stealing the show. Next up, Backlash 2023 is now sold out. Now this is huge news for WWE, and good news for them, as Backlash 2023 is officially sold out. Per WrestleTix, the show has no more tickets left to sell. The show is said to be headlined by Cody Rhodes taking on Brock Lesnar. This is an impressive achievement as no world title match is set for the show. However, Bad Bunny's involvement is an obvious factor in the show's major success. What do you guys make of this story? Let us know in the comments down below. And finally, WWE looking to draft an NXT star? Last but not least, the WWE draft is closing in and fans, as well as wrestlers, are wondering who will be selected to join the main roster or move to a different one. One particular group of interest are NXT wrestlers, several of whom could finally get called up to the main roster. While fans have heard that Cameron Grimes is a possible candidate, WRKD Wrestling reports that another performer on the black and gold brand made an impression. After a well-received match on the main event against Dolph Ziggler, NXT's Tyler Bate has been mentioned internally as a potential call-up to the upcoming WWE Draft. Bate has many accolades in NXT including becoming the youngest singles champion in WWE history, becoming the first wrestler to win the NXT UK Triple Crown and holding various titles in NXT UK and NXT. A 5'7", Bate's height may be a problem for Vince McMahon, but its technical skills and incredible strength should make up for this. As for other possible NXT stars getting called up, Ringside News reports We've asked around about WWE's current plans for NXT call-ups in the 2023 draft. We're told that any names that have been floating around so far are fake news. Now keep in mind that WWE is unlikely to confirm any potential draft picks as one of the draft's key elements is a surprise factor. For now, fans will have to wait and see which rumored draft picks are proven correct. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.